I'm trying not to hold my arms up too far because I don't think I shaved under my arms. <laughs> back to my channel thanks so much for tuning back in for another video in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite natural hair essentials these are the items that are important to me they are my favorite and I'm consistently using them all the time these are the items that I use the most these are the items that I'm looking for when it's time to do my hair they're always close by when I'm working with my hair styling my hair what have you now it may change on down the road but currently these are the items that are a must-have as of right now so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into showing you my natural hair essentials so without further ado let's get started okay so the first thing that is a must are bonnets 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 these are not just any old bonnets these are satin bonnets very important satin bonnets so I have the standard bonnet that you usually see people wear I think I got this at Walmart but you can also get them at your local beauty supply store but I got this at Walmart and I ordered this one. I have a couple of these in different colors. I ordered this slap cap from Grace Ilier. I think that's how you say it. And all of their slap caps are lined with satin lining. These satin lined caps are very important. It keeps my hair protected. It keeps it from drying out, my hair from drying out. It also prevents tangling and breakage and split ends and all these things that can happen with your hair. So when you think about it at nighttime when you're sleeping and your hair exposed, is rubbing up against the cotton uh, pillowcase or whatever easily absorbent uh, material that you're laying on. That friction is causing dryness. It's also causing tangles. Your hair start intertwining and causing all these tangles and knots, fairy knots. But the biggest thing is it's pulling the moisture out of your hair. So when you wake up and your hair is dry, it's dull, it's frizzy, you got all these knots, then you got a problem. So when you're sleeping with either a satin uh, pillowcase cover or if you have a satin bonnet, Again, that's going to be protecting your hair from those issues from happening to your hair. And if you don't have a satin cap or a satin pillowcase cover, just get you a satin scarf. I got this at Walmart, just a big satin scarf. And I wrap my hair in this. If I can't find my bonnet, I'll just wrap my hair in my satin scarf. Just tie it around. But this is how it looks, you know, keep it all nice and wrapped up and your hair protected so especially if you have like twists or if your hair is exposed either way it's going to keep your hair protected the next natural hair essential i like to use on my hair is a cotton t-shirt just a plain white cotton t-shirt the reason why is because it's not rough on my hair it's not rough on my cuticles it doesn't cause a lot of frizz or any frizz really and it doesn't suck up a lot of the moisture in my hair after I'm finished washing my hair. With standard towels when you dry your hair that's going to create more friction, that's going to create more frizz. It's also going to draw more moisture out of your hair than you probably want. Also if you think about it with all the little intertwined loops and woven, why am I doing this? That can easily snag and pull at your hair causing breakage and you definitely don't want that. So this is why I use a plain white cotton t-shirt to dry my hair after washing my hair. So the next thing in my natural hair essentials are my detangling brushes and combs. These are very important. So if you're a curly girl, natural curly hair, curly hair girl like me, then you know how important it is to detangle your hair. Detangling your hair is very important because one, it reduces the amount of hair loss. It also reduces damage and split ends. They're very gentle on the hair and it also reduces the amount of pressure that is applied to both the hair and the scalp. You don't have to really pull and tug as hard when you have the right detangling brush. As you can see, I have four different types of detanglers because each one has a different job to perform on my hair. So I have my wide tooth comb, I have my ultimate tangle teaser, I have my, um, I forgot what this was called, <laughs> the Felicia Leatherwood um, brush detangler. This one is good as well as, as well as this one from Tangle Teaser. This is kind of a small one. This one has um, one, two, three, it looks like it has four um, rows on it, two long rows and two short rows. But this one I mostly use when I'm trying to detangle the ends of my hair. If I'm doing like some twists or something like that and I just need to um, get the tangles out at the very bottom to have a smooth twist all the way towards the ends of my hair, I'll typically use this one. Having a detangler is a must. There's just no way of getting around having a detangler for my hair because it just makes my hair more manageable as I'm washing my hair, styling my hair, what have you. It's just a much easier process when my hair is nice and detangled. So next I have my shears, which are very critical, very crucial in my hair health. So these little babies help me to trim my hair, cut away those dead ends, split ends, 
and fairy knots and all these things going on with the ends of my hair that can stunt my growth and I'll be the first one to admit I am very lazy about trimming cut my hair like I should so I have gotten better with it I'm more consistent with it and now I'm just checking like every little strand of hair and just cutting away so this is very important shears very sharp shears not just any old scissors like the right kind of hair shears made specifically for trimming your hair not cutting boxes or anything else that's going to dull the blades but just simply for your hair so when you have that good nice trim then that growth is going to come and just the, the overall health of your hair is just going to shine through when you have nice healthy hair so these are in my amazon store if you want to check them out these are multicolored shears i really love the look of these shears they're very pretty so the next thing that's very important to me is deep conditioning and to deep condition i love to use these heat caps these are the best things ever made and created so if you don't have one i suggest going and getting one both of these are from the company hothead or hotheads so i have one that's in a comic strip one you've seen this in plenty of videos and then i have this one it's like um paint splatter it's real pretty and this is the inside of them these heat caps are a great way to boost your deep conditioning. It's also a great way to get the most out of your deep conditioners. Now, when I use these heat caps, I feel like I get salon quality deep conditioning in my own home. I don't have to go out and pay nobody to get a good deep conditioning. I can do it by myself in my home. So what I do is I'll take the heat cap, and I think you have to do this about three times, um, but you start, I start with the outside first, and I put it in the microwave. I heat it for like 55 seconds anywhere from 40 to 55 seconds, depending on the wattage of your microwave. So I do mine for 55 seconds, and then I flip it inside out. I do another 55 seconds, flip it back, another 55 seconds, and then I put it on my head. And this opens up my hair cuticles, and it allows for deeper penetration and absorption of the deep conditioner or mask that you're using. So after about 20 or 30 minutes, I'll take it off of my head, and it leaves my hair super soft and super moisturized. And they're also very convenient because you don't have to be tied down to a hair dryer and be stationary, you can be mobile, you can be doing things around the house and deep conditioning at the same time. So you can basically knock out two birds with one stone. And in about 20 to 30 minutes, your deep conditioning is done and probably whatever task you're working on. And then you're left with soft moisturized hair. So who can beat that? And they are filled with flax seeds. That's how they heat up. They're filled up with flax seeds. They got little pouches all in them. So there are no cores, there are no plugs holding and tying you down. This is it. Very convenient, very mobile get you one and speaking of deep conditioning the next thing that's very important to me are these plastic shower cap plastic caps these are very important when it comes to my wash day in particular when I use my heat cap that I just shown you do have to use one of these on your hair before you put the heat cap on your hair because you don't want to damage or ruin your heat cap with product and wetness because that can get into the um, pouches and that can make the flax seeds expand and then you just ruin the whole thing so you do want to make sure your heat cap is protected so you do want to put one of these caps on your head and just aids in the deep conditioning and also if i don't really feel like heating up my cap and doing a deep 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 condition then i'll just leave one of these on my hair and i'll pretty much get the same deep conditioning type results because the heat from my scalp is basically going to give me that heat that i need um to open up my hair cuticles and to still get the product absorbed, the deep conditioner absorbed in my hair. I got these at Walmart for like a dollar or they were like 99 cents, but they're very cheap and you can get like a pack of them. I think there may be like 20 or 30 something in, in a pack, um, but very inexpensive and they just really come in handy and also to retain moisture in my hair. So after washing my hair, if I don't feel like styling my hair immediately I'll put one of these on my hair and it just keeps the moisture um, retained in my hair until I'm ready to style it to make the process more manageable so the next natural hair essential I have here are my bobby pins bobby pins are very important to natural hair because you have to tame it hold it down whatever style you're doing you want to make sure that the bobby pins are going to hold that style whether it be an updo or a bond or whatever it may be and you can also use these as decorations or accessories and make and create little styles on, in your hair with these uh, bobby pins and they come in different colors they come in different shapes they come in different sizes what have you this is the one that's curved and i find that the one that is curved actually works better in my hair depending on the style that i'm trying to achieve the curved ones actually are more flush to the hair so they're not sticking up or sticking out uh, with whatever style i'm trying to create as opposed to the ones that are straight tend to stick out or you can see those 
but these kind of lay flat to the hair and you can't really see them. So I like the curved ones. But like I once saw a meme say, I got 99 bobby pins and I can't find one that is so true. I have so many bobby pins and every time I look around trying to find a good one at least, I can't find one. The next items that are important to me are my spray bottles. Now, depending on what I'm trying to do, I have two different types of sprays. I have the mist, I don't know if you can see it, but I have the misting spray, and then I have the one that shoots like a straight stream. But you can also adjust the nozzle if you want it to be more of a mist or if you want it to be more of a straight stream. Now, this one I use more as a straight stream on my scalp if I'm doing a scalp detox. I'll put some warm water here with some apple cider vinegar with the mother. And I will spray it directly onto my scalp if I have a lot of buildup. So I can get to my scalp better with this one as opposed to this one. This is not gonna get to my scalp. This is just gonna get to the surface of my hair. But for this one, I'll actually use it if I'm just trying to um, just get a pop of moisture in my hair or hydrate my hair, rehydrate my hair for a style or if it's a product I need to apply, I tend to use this one. I would not recommend putting any oils in this one because it will clog up and you just ruined it and you gotta throw it away. Um, I've learned that the hard way twice. And in the purple bottle, I may mix a little bit of conditioner and water in this one um, and it comes to the nozzle perfectly without any clogging. Next, I have my hair clips. These come in handy when I'm styling my hair or if I need to section off my hair or just get hair out of the way while I'm working on a specific section. But if I don't have these hair clips and I'm trying to do my hair, it makes it very difficult because I can't achieve the style or part or whatever I'm trying to do effortlessly because I don't have clips. So if I have my clips, then I can make sure that my style or whatever I'm trying to do or style I'm trying to achieve comes out the way I want it. It just makes it easier to, to do my hair when I have clips. So it's not special. I'm not gonna ramble on about these clips. They're just clips. Get you some clips. Dun, 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 dun. The next thing is my edge brush. Dun, dun, dun. So when I need to lay my edges down, I have my brush here that's gonna give me a nice little swoop here for my edges, brush them down real nicely. And I also like that it has a little comb right here so that way I can actually create, I can get creative uh, with my uh, edges and create designs and shapes and whatnot with a little comb here. So I think that comes in handy. But I definitely have to have my edge brush and to get those edges the way that I want. So this definitely stays on hand at all times. Next, I have my hair bands. These bands are very convenient for me when I do not feel like doing my hair. There are some days I just don't feel like doing anything but putting it up in a big puff. And these bands come in handy. So I just tie it around twice around my hair and just slide it up and I just got a big old nice pool, perfect quick style. And it just makes the styling process quick and easy when I'm trying to get out the door. And last but not least are my scalp massagers. Scalp massager is definitely a must have in my natural hair care. It is essential to have a scalp massager on hand. Cause sometimes this, this right here, just sitting there in the mirror and just doing this, it's tiring on my hands. My arms get tired, my fingers get tired. I don't feel like doing that. Although you get great results, I just, I just get tired of doing it, it's tedious. So I have my scalp massagers. This one I don't really use as much unless I just have an itchy scalp and I'm just, I don't know. I don't really, I don't even know why I'm showing this. Let me show you this one. So this one is the, the electric one and it has two speeds. It's got a slow speed and it has a high speed. And I've done a whole video on this scalp massager and I will put that link above because I'm not going to ramble on about the scalp massager. But just know that with a scalp massager, it stimulates your scalp. It also stimulates the blood flow of your scalp, which promotes hair growth. That's the main thing. And it just gets the job done. Like, it's like the best feeling ever. It's like little fingers, little hands, just massaging your scalp. So that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching me show you my natural hair essentials. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.